Okay, so the question is, I lost a bunch of money on, uh, on today uh, holding along. It was money I could afford to lose, but I still feel crappy. How do you deal with these situations in the past? Uh, sorry that my name is hard to pronounce. Okay, so, the, so, so basically the question comes down to how do you deal with losses in trading? Well, the first question is, is this a reasonable loss? Is, it is expected in any trading plan to always have losses no matter what, because even if you have an edge that is you know, as close to 100% as possible, there is always going to be the non-zero probability of a, an, of course, black swan event, a 10 sigma event, something that is just extremely unlikely. But of course, they do happen. You know, we do see this over time. I mean, talk about oil trading into the negative, you know, into the negative amounts. Uh, talk about coronavirus, um, you know, dump times. You know, some people would say that that is a black swan. Some people would argue it's not. Anyways, my point is, is that shit happens, right? So first, the question is, was your strategy legitimate? Meaning that did you did you did you play out a, a strategy that you had back tested that you knew had some sort of fiscal advantage in your favor over time by your own definition mediated by both risk management and position management? If you did, and if you did, and if you did have tested, and if you have had it, um, uh, and if you've and you've been, and you've and if you have been successful with it before, sorry, I'm really struggling with my words today. Uh, but if you have been successful with that strategy before, then that's completely fine. You can feel shitty about a trade or crappy in your own words um, about a losing trade. And that's that's fine. You can feel bad about it. But your job after that is to not let those current emotions, what you're feeling right now with losing money, influence your next trade or any trades after that. If you can do that, that's completely fine. You can just accept feeling like shit because, you know, it's natural to feel like shit when you lose. I mean, we're set up that way as human beings. The key indication here, the, the thing that I really want to dial in is, is that you don't act on that and that most importantly, your strategy was set to begin with. Now, let's take the opposite example. Maybe you had a strategy that was untested. Maybe you don't have any strategy. Well, that would be no strategy at all by definition, but maybe you had no strategy at all. Maybe you didn't play out your strategy. In that case, what you did was well was was just not viable and you should feel bad because you are not playing you are not playing to the advantages of having some sort of edge in the market and you can expect and you can expect to feel worse over time and you should feel worse over time that's your body telling you you're doing something wrong and 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 the change needs to be made if that is not the case, then that's not your problem. You can continue doing what you're doing, but more importantly, you cannot let, it's not that you cannot let your, your, your emotions influence your current state. It's just, you have to be able to separate the emotion from who you are, right? So your emotions are always going to be fleeting and floating. And in some way, they are kind of random and weird, right? You probably notice this in your day to day life that your thoughts that go into your head are like they're mostly repetitive and they mostly kind of, you know, bubble up out of nowhere. I mean, that's kind of the whole point of meditation is you start to realize that your thoughts are not really really they're not really like consciously um uh uh designed it's not that they're not consciously designed it's that it's not that you're like conscious consciously in control of them yes that's the word that i'm looking for so you can trust in that again if if and only if you have a tested strategy that you've been going over uh, that you know that you've been playing out over time pew pew there you go <laughs> oh my god these comments are great right now really really good stuff uh <laughs> there you go nimbo laying it down love it man much love mr nimbo um so again going back to it right now uh how do you deal with feel feeling crappy well in a more in a more practical sense assuming that you had the more uh, healthy uh, version of that that we spoke about then you need to have some other hobby some other means of getting and, and kind of shaking out your emotions for myself that is going to the gym that is uh, having a meditation practice i also like reading although i don't really read that much anymore i listen to books on audible which is i mean i, I honestly think it's more or less the same thing in fact I, I i think listening to this stuff is a little bit better but some people are different anyways it calms me down more importantly and gets me outside of my own head so that i don't necessarily associate with those emotions and then i don't make more importantly actions on those emotions which is only going to compound things and make them worse um you know and you can have many things like that sauna is great i absolutely love the sauna it doesn't have to be any of the things that i'm talking about but these typically like physical activities will start to uh dis disassociate those emotions and separate them between yourself <laughs> and what about elsa what <laughs> what what about you um what would you like to say something sir anyways my point is is that first need to decide is is that even relevant to you if you're feeling bad because you had no strategy well you should feel bad because you need to make a change and and i'm not saying that to to talk down to you it's just you need to do that otherwise you can't expect anything different 
Um, if you did have a strategy, you know the statistics of it, then it's simply a it's it's simply a function of not letting these current emotions influence you in the future, because that's only going to get in your way, obviously, you know, making more uh more 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 potential bad bad decisions. And then you can deal with them by typically doing some sort of activity. Maybe it's playing a video game. I don't know. Whatever kind of cranks your fucking boat or whatever. What's a, what's this? I don't even know what the saying is, man. My point is, is that, uh, you know, first identify that, then then you can manage it. And uh, and of course, you can feel crappy, as you said, but still play out your strategy as you intend. So that's ideally where you want to get to is where you can feel an emotion, but you don't associate with it and it doesn't influence your further decisions, even though you are feeling that way. And, you know, we all feel that way from time to time. Of course, I mean, shit happens in life. But going back to the point, need to make sure that that first initial thing that we spoke about is in place. If that's not, then you need to go back and rework your strategy, obviously. So I hope that was in some way helpful. And let me know if that was.